Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would do a new type of video. So this will be a do-it-yourself project. So as you guys know, I love chunky clear rings and I thought I would show you how to make them. And I'll also make some inspired by some of my favorite shoes I own currently. And so I chose the Yeezy Slides, which we released, I think, last week. Then I got myself the Air Force One Peace Dragon. The third pair I chose are my off-white rubber dunks. This is like a little set with a bunch of different colors. So first I'm gonna unbox the shoes for you guys. Those are the Yeezy Slides in the resin colorway. I heard they're also re-releasing every two months. So that's very cool because I did try to get some extra pairs last week, but no luck. So I'm gonna keep mine for now. Yeah, I'm gonna show you what I would do for chunky rings to fit with this pair. So like I said, I'm gonna show you how to make this type of rings. So I've already made a bunch of them because like I said, I really, really love them. And they're super, super cute and colorful. So first, what we're gonna need to make our rings. So we're gonna need like a cutting plate where we're gonna be rolling our clay, some kind of knife to chop up the clay. Match with our resin colorway. I think the first type of ring I'm gonna make is this type. So this is more like a flat and thin. And I'm gonna be choosing some colors that fit well with that. So let's look in our box here are a bunch of colors and you also have a second level so i'll make sure to link the product i bought and let's pick some colors so i think what i'm gonna be picking is different tones of like green so i think this could be nice maybe this could be nice maybe this one maybe this one too so either we're gonna mix up like different colors together or we're gonna do like single toned rings or something i'm gonna do a couple of mixed colors and a couple of like basic basic neutral ones and yeah let's start so like i said you need your knife and then we're gonna cut a little portion of your ring so for example like half a centimeter and if you buy in multiple colors i'm gonna say cut even less and then you'll mix them up together so let's start with that so as you can see i decided to take this beige color i think it's very nice and what you're gonna do is just cut through the plastic and like that the rest is still nice packed and you just let it aside then you take off the plastic and then we're going to pick a second color. So, for example, I'm going to pick this green, which fits very nicely with our resin color. Now we're going to cut another slice and let's take off the plastic once again. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put the two together and you're going to roll them in your hands like this. So as you can see, now you have a bit of a twirl. So now you're going to twirl it even more like this. And then you're going to roll it once again. Now you're going to do like little circles for example like this and you're gonna mix it up again so the point is you're gonna want to make a bunch of different like designs in it to make it more interesting and then you're gonna roll it on the board so now that we have our little roll what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it flat as you can see we have different little tools that are given to you with your order and so i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna flatten out the edges so that it looks nicer once it's flat you're gonna shape it around your finger to make sure it fits you and then slice the rest off i'm gonna take this and put it around my finger and as you can see now it's way too big so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice it off here and therefore it will be the right size so as you can see it's here and then i'm gonna take it off first before i put it together and there we have it. So I think it's very cute. So with the rest of our clay, we're going to do a different type. So I'm going to show you like what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to do more of like a round shape like this. Once again, you just shape it around your finger. Let's do it like this. And now our second pair of shoes. So like I said, these are the Air Force One Paranoise 2.0. So I never actually showed you guys these. So these are also US 6. As you can see, there is a lot of dust because they are dead stock and they have been just lying in my closet this whole time. You can see here we have some white, some black, some yellow or some orange. I think I'm going to pick this yellow. And then I'm going to just take some white and some black and let's see how it turns out once again what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slice off some little parts of those colors so like i showed you guys those are the three colors i picked and you're gonna slice the different colors and just mix them all together i think right now it looks pretty nice i like the design in that 
So what I thought I would do for this one, because we already made two types of rings, we're gonna make this style. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a second item. So I'm gonna take this end and I'm gonna take this end, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're always going to go from the top and the bottom and you're gonna go together, but not completely. So you always have a little bridge between each piece. So we're gonna repeat that for the whole length. We have our little chain. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part here and we're gonna dip it in and turn it a bit so you have a little hole in it. So we're gonna repeat that for every step. And so how it looks now is like this. So you have always your little elements with the little circle in the middle. And once again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it around your finger. And once you have too much, you take your knife and you cut it off. And there it is. So now our third shoe are the off-white rubber dunks. So I've showed you guys these already multiple times and I think they have a very nice colorway and we'll definitely be able to make some very cute rings to match with that. I think I'm gonna pick this blue. I think it matches pretty well with this color. And then we have our orange. I think these will look very cute together. I'm just gonna do another flat ring and then it will be done. So I'll have my couple of rings and if you want, just make as many rings as you want because at some point you won't want to anymore. And I think it's nice to have like a bunch of different color combination to be able to wear whenever you want. So now all our rings are finished. So I'm gonna show you the results and let me put them all together here. So here we have our three colorways of rings. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some baking paper. We're gonna lay them all flat under, make sure that they have the shape and size that you want to wear afterwards. So we're gonna go to the oven, set the temperature on 150 degrees Celsius, leave it for maybe a half an hour to one and a half hours. And what you can also do is add aluminum file on it so that it doesn't burn, for example. So you guys, um, it's been one and a half hours and our rings are finished. So I'm gonna show you the results. Here are our little rings. So I'm gonna show you always the rings with the sneakers and how I think they would match well together. And I hope you'll enjoy that. So first up are easy slides. And as you can see, I wore the rings we made and I think they are a perfect match. And yeah, definitely a good success. Now let's look at the rings we made for our Air Force and here you can see them and once again I think it's a very good match and I definitely think it looks very cute together. And last but not least we have our off-white and here we have our two rings and I think they're very cute together. This one didn't turn out very well because I mixed the colors up too much but I think that if you do that right I think it will look very cute together and definitely the orange fits very well with our tag. So yeah, also I think a pretty good success. Now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new type of video. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this or not, what you would like to see for other projects, for example, or new sneaker releases you would like me to show you guys. Make sure to check out my Instagram where you can see all my outfits that wear daily and make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. See you next Saturday.